Number 63, referring to the electric room heater considered in the first example of this section, calculate the intensity of IR radiation in watts per square meter uh, projected by the concave mirror on a person three meters away. I would assume that the heating element radiates 1.5 well, kilowatts or 1500 watts and it has an area of 100 centimeters squared and that half of the radiated power is reflected. So first of all, all right, so half of the power is uh, reflected um, and so if we know the total power here, 1500 watts, and they told us that half of it is actually uh, reflected, so that's going to be 750 watts. That's actually reflected. Okay. Now, the wattage here is then spread out. I can assume basically that the wattage here is going to be spread out then over an area here on the mirror of 100 centimeters squared. All right. Now what I want to do is convert this into meters squared. So we take the 100 centimeter squared and then centimeter on the bottom meter on the top for every one meter there's a hundred centimeters but then you got to square this because you need squared centimeters and you need squared meters so it's basically then one over 100 right or 0 0.01 meters squared now so in other words if i had to now find the power um or i should say the intensity here uh over now this uh heating element I would then take the watts and then divide it by the square meters, okay? So this then would be 750 watts over then 0 0.01. So that works out to now be about 7.5, well, it'd be 75,000, or aka 75,000 watts or 75 kilowatts per meter squared. All right, but now we're gonna take this and we gotta try to focus it, right? And we got to try to focus this on a person uh, that is three meters away. Okay. Now we need to know something about the the example here. Um, so we need another piece of information. So the image distance that's formed, all right, in that problem, you got to refer back to that, is going to be 0 0.273 uh, meters. Now, if I know then the uh, do the object distance, they told me three meters away. Then what I can do is find the magnification, right? Because we know that the magnification is going to be that formula over there, that it's negative di over do is equal to m, all right? And uh, basically now this works out to be negative 0 0.273 all over now 3. And that's going to equal then the magnification, all right? So it's negative 0.273 divided by 3. So it works out to be about uh, negative 0. 091. All right, that's now the magnification. So what we then need to do is we now need to take this is the actual then intensity supplied, all right, by the uh, heating element, and I have to now multiply it by the magnification, all right, to find then the amount that's actually the amount of the intensity that's basically being radiated and localized at a point, all right? So it's 75. I know the works all over the place, but you know, this is. There's a little bit, you know, nuts here at the end of the chapter, but you know, I'm losing my mind. So 75,000 times in that value, and it works out to be about, so this works out to be about then six uh, point, and by the way, you can drop the negative. It really doesn't make a difference. The negative sign is just telling you that it's going to be less, all right, or that it's being, yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Invert. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. All right. Um, because it, it's not radiating negative power, okay? So this is going to be 6.83 times 10 to then the uh, third. And that's in terms of watts. And that's the answer. So guys, thanks so much for tuning in. That concludes this chapter. I'll see you in the next one. All right, check out some more of our work. We'll see you soon.